In today's ski shop environment, binding testing is a must. To help minimize margin of error and maximize the efficiency of every binding tech, choosing a binding testing machine over a manual tester will yield incredible return on investment and the best possible output. Start by locating the power switch and turn on the machine. Then, turn on the tablet by pushing the power button. After the machine has booted up, it has to be referenced. Press the toe release, then the heel release buttons. Wait for the machine to reference. Using a card the customer has filled out, enter the boot sole length. Confirm boot sole length on the boot. It's also a good idea to validate boot sole length on the Safetronic measuring device. Weight range, height range, age range, skier type, as well as any custom settings requested. For skier type 3, you can also add a 3 plus. The 3 plus can be added on both the toe and the heel or independently. In this example, it is added only to the heel. For skier type 1, you can also add a minus 1. The minus 1 can be added on both the toe and the heel or independently, in this example, it is added only to the toe. Choose from the list of manufacturers or other if the manufacturer isn't listed. Then enter the ski length. Select binding manufacturer from the drop down menu, choosing other if not listed. Select binding type, alpine, turntable, grip walk, or pintech. Be sure to consult the Binding Manufacturer's Manual for specific testing requirements for specific bindings. Enter the boot manufacturer, then enter boot type, and boot model, select if the equipment is owned by the customer or is a rental item. Once all information has been filled out, tap Measure. Reference the correct indicator setting at the top right of the display. In this example, 8 is the recommended indicator setting. Adjust binding accordingly. On bottom left of the measurement window, choose from Full, Normal, Fast, or Speed. Place ski on the machine with tip to the left. Use the guide on the support to align the heel with a 30 millimeter mark. If so equipped, press the laser button and align the heel of the boot with the laser guide. If testing turntable bindings, align the pivot point of the heel with the zero mark on the support when testing twist release. When testing heel release on turntable bindings, Reposition the binding to align with the 30 mark. For Pintech bindings, refer to the manual for proper placement and procedure. Clamp ski onto support by pulling the clamp jaws so they just touch the ski. Then pull the cam lever to tighten. Adjust the testing arms to interface with the center of the boot toe lug vertical, and horizontal center. Adjust the rear testing arm to mirror the front testing arm position. Full mode. Release the binding with the release mechanism traveling to the end of its travel limit. Normal mode releases the binding until no release is measured, but this does not necessarily mean the boot will be fully clear of the binding. Fast mode releases the toe piece in one direction until release value decreases. Then the boot is centered and a release is performed in the opposite direction. 
This cycle continues until two release values are obtained that are within the inspection range, which is dictated by the skier code and Z value. This mode is canceled by pressing either of the twist release buttons on the machine. Speed mode releases the toe in either direction until a result within the inspection range is obtained and upon selection of the binding setting. The machine will immediately release the heel. Symmetry test is used as a diagnostic tool to see if a binding is functioning properly. The properties of the right and left twist release should closely mirror each other the entire release. The clockwise and counterclockwise releases should be within 18% of each other. The test results are displayed in a bar showing torque deviation or in a graph with torque displayed over time. Select Symmetry Test from the menu and press either the clockwise or the counterclockwise button to start the test. The device will release the binding in one direction until there is no resistance. Recenter the ski and release in the opposite direction. Results for each value are displayed as well as the percentage difference between the releases. To start, the left ski will be displayed in the measurement window showing the reference torque, inspection range in green, in use range yellow, and deviation range red. Select a clockwise or counterclockwise release and the machine will release the binding. On the display, an arrow will point to the measured value. If the result is within the inspection range, an indicator value selection window will appear. Select the value at which the binding is currently set. Reset the boot into the binding. Choose the appropriate opposite direction release and select the indicator value if the test is within range. With the boot removed from the binding, place the heel strap under the heel of the boot and engage the boot in the binding. Select Heel Release and input the indicator value if the release is in range. When the left ski is complete, the display will highlight the right ski for testing. Repeat the above steps for the right ski. When the test is complete on both skis, place the binding adjustment form in the printer, press print, and the results will be printed on the form. For Pintech type bindings, select the manufacturer. Then, select the Pintech binding type. Binding release for Pintech will require placing the heel into the traditional toe position. This allows the machine to test heel side release values. The heel for Pintech testing uses the traditional heel release method. Be sure to adjust the release arms to clear the brake platform for the binding while testing. As mentioned earlier, follow the traditional heel release method for Pintech bindings. Some skis may flex excessively between the clamping devices when performing a heel release test. This excessive flex may affect the release value measurement. To prevent this, use the black webbing strap to hold the ski securely. 
The Safetronic includes the ability to test rentals for preseason and in-season random testing. In this section, we will address a preseason test with skis with a unique ID, exporting the results to a CSV file. For in-season testing, or to print results, please call technical service. Insert a USB thumb drive into the USB port located at the back of the machine. Select Menu. Select Serial Test. Select New Test. Select Input Scan. Select Preseason. Select CSV. Select Start. In the Test ID field, enter or scan in the unique ID of the ski. In this example, the unique ID of the ski is scanned. In the drop down menu to the left, select the binding manufacturer. If the binding manufacturer is not listed, select ISO 13993. From the binding type, select child, junior, or adult. In this example, adult is selected. The test parameters for the ski will be displayed in the table at the bottom of the window. Select measure and perform the measurement according to the instruction in previous sections of this video. When measurement is complete, select continue and enter scan the ID of the next ski to be tested. The manufacturer and binding type will be saved from the previous measurement. When finished with the tests, select End from the menu.